Sometimes when I have a sinus infection, I get an antibiotic and sometimes I don't. Does that mean that's always a good thing or can, can is that, does that make sense? And is, is, um, are there sometimes you would need an antibiotic with a sinus infection and sometimes you wouldn't? A lot, of, a lot of patients come into the clinic with a lot of symptoms. I mean, every single day I see probably at least a third of my patients come in with a runny nose, an earache, a sore throat, a cough. Most of those patients probably don't need an antibiotic. Um, you have to look at the amount of time that you've actually had the infection. You know, if you just got sick yesterday and you have a little bit of a sore throat and a little bit of a runny nose, you probably really don't need to come to the doctor. There's, there's most of the things that we can actually prescribe now that are decongestants, antihistamines, nasal sprays are over the counter. I mean, all the nasal steroids, just about most of them are, are available over the counter. The generics are, and as we know, most of our insurance plans pay for generics first. So if you if you just start getting uh, signs of infection, a, a little bit of runny nose, a little bit of sore throat, pay attention to whether or not you're actually running a fever. Do you really feel bad from that or is it just sort of annoyance? The annoyances can be treated with over-the-counter medications. Um, once annoyance becomes more of a fever, I feel bad all over, maybe a change in the color or amount of sputum, that may be the time to actually go to the physician and, and see whether or not it appears to be an actual infection. We have another question about how long should you wait before coming to, Dr. Graham, were you gonna answer that other one? So as, uh, as far as to how long you should wait, um, kind of the typical rule and what we're taught in medical school is that a lot of these viral infections, uh, which actually comprises greater than 90% of the sinusitis and upper respiratory infections that we get, um, those typically resolve within about seven to ten days, maybe even last a couple weeks or so for some residual symptoms. Um, so typically I tell my patients, you know, if you have, start developing some of the runny nose, some of the sinus pressure, and that sort of thing, try to wait it out at least a week or ten days to see if your symptoms are starting to improve before coming in. Um, and uh, I guess to expand on some of the things that uh, Dr. Houchin mentioned, um, some of the more specific, well, I should say, it's really hard to differentiate between a viral infection and bacterial sinus infections a lot of times. Um, so some of the things that we look for, I look for specifically, is uh, if you have one of these infections, a viral infection, and you tend to get better with time, but then all of a sudden, boom, you start feeling a lot worse, you start getting true pain in your sinuses then that can be a sign that this has turned into a bacterial infection. So that's something that I'll typically ask my patients when they come in. <laughs>